Hey guys, Dylan McSwagon here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing the topic of why the Lord of the Rings should not get a reboot. Now, if you don't know, Warner Bros and Tolkien Estate, which is basically manages all the copyright issues for Tolkien and all of his books and everything like that and movies, etc., had have been in the dark and everything about that and been talking behind the scenes and everything about making a Lord of the Rings T into a TV series and rebooting the entire Lord of the Rings series. Now, my personal opinion, I do not like this idea at all, and I would much prefer it just to stay as the three movie trilogies. Maybe as in the three in the movie trilogy, I meant to say, sorry. So, in maybe like 20 years, yes, go ahead, Me reboot the Lord of the Rings. Not now. We don't need it now. The Lord of the Rings trilogy has been the best fantasy movie series of all time, in my personal opinion. I can't think of one off the top of my head that has been better than this. And putting stuff into a TV series just in this sort of type doesn't really go very well. The closest thing to the TV series that we've got to Lord of the Rings is to do with The Witcher. Now, The Witcher TV series wasn't good at all. But luckily, they're making going to make a Netflix series. Hopefully, that's better. But anyway... Um, the Witcher series was not good, and it just won't really work, and that's sort of the level that I'm expecting from here. We're not really probably going to get anything better than that, or if we do get better, something better than that, it's not going to be at the very, very highest standard. If it's going to be the best it can possibly be, it's probably going to end up being sort of similar to the Iron Fist Netflix series. Some people liked it, most people didn't. Now, if we're going to get this Netflix series, we also have to worry about the budget of TV series. They're usually quite low and compared to movie budgets, and usually the CGI in them isn't up to scratch. Uh, I think the original Lord of the Rings trilogy had about three years in post and um, in pre-production, so the CGI could definitely get travel ahead and stuff before filming started and everything. It may make it really, really well done. Whereas the Hobbit trilogy only had one compared, so the CGI didn't really work out that well. The CGI, the best we'll probably get is for what we got. Um, it's the bad parts of the Hobbit movie, which is sort of like Azog and stuff like that, or the White Orc, or the Pale Orc, which isn't really that good. It's probably going to be Lord of, um, The Walking Dead, DSCGI, that sort of level, um, which I really don't want to happen. If they're going to do it, make do it in like 20, 30 years and actually do it well and everything like that and get it to be done good. The replacing actors and stuff isn't really going to go well. No one can replace Elijah Wood as Froja, Frodo in this present time or most importantly, Andy Serkis as Gollum. If Andy Serkis does reprise his role as Gollum, which would sort of be unlikely because they'd be wasting lots and lots of their budget on getting these major league actors back into it, uh, instead of putting it onto the CGI, his performance may or may not be good. He, who knows if he actually wants to be in it. Usually Andy Serkis does an amazing performance, so it would most likely be good if they do get him back as Gollum, but other than that, it probably won't be that much good. If the, the acting is good, is part of it. If the writing and everything else is good, it would be, it'd be well done. If they're just going to do small little miscellaneous details, it's not going to be as good. Like the Tom Bombadil part. The Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, left that out for a particular reason. Otherwise, it just would have got boring to most viewers. It left out important parts of dialogue and stuff, and only included parts that weren't really needed if... It, you know, just 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 to really develop the characters into the story and everything like that. So they definitely, it's going to be a lot, a lot of filled in. If they're going to have to have to do like two, four hundred, or two or four hundred um, episodes, or maybe like a thousand episodes, or something to cover all three books, if they want to be able to do them well, extremely, extremely, extremely well, and like extremely mega accurate to the books. But you know, that's hard, unlikely to become. The best accuracy we've got for a book in the Lord of the Rings series is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The Hobbit series, yes, but not extremely accurate like the Lord of the Rings series was. But anyways, that is my personal opinion why we shouldn't reboot the Lord of the Rings series. Do you guys have the same opinion as mine that we shouldn't reboot it? Put your comments, uh, put your opinions down in the comments section below. And with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.